Hey, what's up? Santi here. Today I want to share with you Amazing Marvin. This is a task manager that I keep coming back to. I honestly have tried a lot of them. Keep coming back to this one. So this is definitely one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. And you know, here it is. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be showing you a couple of things, giving you a bit of a tour. And as we keep moving forward, I'll give you more reasons why I think Amazing Marvin might be the right fit for you and what makes it so great. So first off, of course, this is the basic idea. This is the basic layout. You can add tasks from here. Let's just say we want to adopt a monkey. And that's something we want to do today. There we go. If we get our monkey, of course, boom, there we go. Now that task is completed. We have this nice little icon, which is quite a, quite a nice touch that I really enjoy. Task completed today. You can just close this, but if you want to, you can expand it and see how many tasks you have achieved today, which is a nice thing to see progress. Nothing new here, you've seen this kind of layout before, it's very basic for task managers, however, Amazing Marvin has something that you probably haven't seen before, at least not to this extent, it's really powerful, is the master list. So you can think of this as a place where you can organize projects, anything that you quickly add goes of course to inbox, and anything that you want to categorize in projects or sub-projects goes into this nice hierarchy of folders and subfolders where you can have several levels of something like that and you can organize things from here in a very nice way. It's pretty unique, honestly, it just takes a bit of experimenting to, to get used to it and seeing how powerful it is. But you can, for instance, do things such as schedule this for today. So I'm just going to schedule that for today. And if we go back to the main view, you can see that it's here. And what's really cool about the master list concept is that you can toggle a sidebar with the shortcut X. So this is actually going to show you all of this hierarchy of folders and subfolders. This is a demo. My real one has more stuff, but of course, tasks tend to be quite personal, so I couldn't really show you everything. But in here, let's just say that I have this task right here, right? And now what I can do is that I can just drag it in here and now it's assigned. Now each one of these folders has also a color, so it's nice to be able to, to see that. You can even see right here where it belongs to. Say that you don't want to get a garden today and you want to push this task forward in time. I can click in, in schedule in here and now I can say, for instance, assign it for Friday. There we go. And now if I actually use the other shortcut C, now we can actually skip ahead in time and we can go to Friday. There we go. And now you can see that this task has been scheduled here. I'm going to do X just to show you the master list. And as you can see, the get garden task is grayed out because it has been scheduled somewhere, right? But let's say that I want to bring it back to the master list and I don't necessarily want to schedule it right now, whether because I don't really know exactly when I'll do it or I just want to have it there, then I can always click in here and I can actually click on and schedule right here. And that's going to bring it back here. It's no longer grayed out. If we go back to today, as you can see, you can do the same thing for all kinds of stuff. You can just drag it like that. There we go. And it keeps the colors of the specific folders, right? There you go, right? And in the master list, you, you can just like organize all types of projects. You can reorganize the order of them like so, just moving things around when needed. That way you do have kind of a bit of a list, but you can also schedule all of these very nicely in the today view. And anything that is not achieved on this specific day that I had planned for today is actually going to be dragged out to the future. So whatever I didn't achieve today is going to be automatically there in tomorrow, which is a nice touch. One of the coolest things about Amazing Marvin is how extensive it is. So even though it's very intuitive and easy to use, it's definitely very powerful and it has tons of amazing features that, that let you customize things to your needs. There's one thing called strategies. If you go to this menu, you can see in here, you can consider this as plugins, right? Additional features or additional workflows that you can add to Amazing Marvin to customize it to, to use the techniques and methods that you enjoy, as well as organize things in all types of ways, for instance, labels or using the calendar, which if you press C, you can see here's the calendar. If we press X, we can actually assign things to particular days <laughs> like that. And now this is, becomes a new way in which you can organize tasks depending on when you want to do them. You have different views, such as like the monthly one. This things to my Google Calendar, so there's definitely some private task in there, but never mind. <laughs> and you can also see things on day by day basis. You can grab a task and you can actually time block it by selecting how long you think it will take. Let's just say this will take two hours. And there we go. As you can see, the task is, is scheduled for eight in the morning and it's expected to last two hours, 30 minutes. You can see that in the main view right here. So as you can see, it says scheduled for eight. And now in here, it even says two hours 30, which can just give you a bit of an idea of how long things take. And you can always check things from the calendar. Like I mentioned, you can customize the colors of things. So for instance, here in demo house, if I go to the master list and I search for that folder, this one right here, I can just select here the color that I want. Once you select the color, it's going to change in there. And you can actually see that it's also been changing here. 
as you can see, there's a lot of icons right here. These are different plugins or strategies as they're called in Marvin. And you can do things such as group by, in this case, I'm gonna do by secondary category. And as you can see, that organizes things by the category in the master list that it belongs to. You can always collapse it if you just want to see one thing at a time or whatever. If I add something new, they should go straight to the inbox. So that's a different category. If we go to the master list, we'll see that the inbox, anything that we add new is gonna be here. The things that are grayed out are the ones that have already been scheduled, right? And same thing, I can either schedule them from here by clicking on today, or if I go to the main view and press X, I can just check my inbox and I can just drag things into here. So now I have all those tasks added to today. And as you can see, they're nicely organized. If I want to remove the grouping, I can just click no grouping and there we have it. So it's really up to you how you want to organize things. There's quite a few different ways in which you can organize these things, maybe things that you want to do in the morning versus in the evening and that kind of stuff. There really are so many things that you can do. So, you know, there's tons of things like, for instance, you can click in here for timers or actually use the shortcut T, which is pretty nice. And now here I can start Pomodoros, as you can see in the, in the bottom right is right there. We can also have it as a pop out. That way you can drag this thing around, maybe wherever you're working, you can just have this thing in there and it's a nice way to actually see Pomodoros if that's something you do. One crazy feature that I think is super underrated is the time tracker. It's actually really good. If you click on this, you're gonna actually start tracking the time on how long it takes you to do this particular task. If you want to enter the time manually, you can use shift click. And now in here, you can say that you already did one Pomodoro of this, you can save it. And then if you go up here, you're gonna be able to go to archive and stats, time tracking, and here you're gonna be able to see how long you spend on each task. Of course, as you have more things in here, you're gonna be able to see that all in here, or you can actually go to the completed task, show time track stats, and here you can see how much time you spend on certain things. Let's just add another one just to show you. This one took me 60 minutes. And now you can see is actually showing you based on the categories, how much time you spent on things that belong to the category of demo. You can click on it. You can see things a bit better to see how you're spending your day, which I think is a really cool feature that is very underrated in Marvin because this can finally get you into the habit of actually time tracking things in a way that is very easy. I think Amazing Marvin is very complete, very powerful, highly recommended. So I hope this video gave you a bit of an idea of what is it, what it looks like, what it can do and this kind of stuff. I didn't even scratch the surface. There's so much. So if you want me to make more videos on it, please let me know. If you're interested in checking out Marvin, there's a 30 day trial and I do have an affiliate link. This video is not sponsored by Marvin, but I do have an affiliate link that if you actually use that, I get a bit of a commission, just a small way to contribute to the channel. Of course, no pressure, see if something that you would benefit from. And honestly, I've tried a lot of test managers and project managers and Amazing Marvin is one of the few that actually gives you a lot of flexibility and power in a very intuitive and easy to use interface. It also works on the phone really well. I might do a video on that if you're interested in that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.